What's going on everyone? I haven't been down this way in a while, I just wanted to see um what was going on? Got their giant machines out here. It's big. What if that does? Weird. I could moto vlog from one of these. I guess it would be like a tractor vlog. I think that's like left to right, probably. <laughs> Fire the missile! Shit. Hey, well, yeah, there was a subject. What was it? Had to do with uh, running slicks on the street. Should run some of those on the street. You little fucking traction with those big old things. Uh, I wasn't talking about running slicks on the street. I just ordered some new tires for this thing, so I didn't order slicks. But but I know I know people that have done that before. Run uh they run slicks. They run slicks as their uh, street tires. And I'm going to tell you why it's a fucking dumb idea and you shouldn't do it. Alright, reason why, um, the biggest difference is not just the fact that it doesn't have tread on it. You know, it's, it's more than that. It's not like the, the filling in that much of the tread. Oh shit, look at this. <laughs> My little whoop section here. It's not like filling in the tread. What? Fucking hell. It's not like filling in the tread is going to give it that much more grip all of a sudden. That's not why they're slick. Whew. It has to do with the rubber compound. And, and it's. And yeah, it's a soft rubber compound, but again, it's even more than just that. Um. It's multiple things. Birds, Arr, look at these birds, I'm scaring them. Get the fuck out of here, birds. This is Jake's land now. All right, and the reason though, okay, what I'm trying to say, come on, Jake, fucking stick with it. ADD out, bastard. Right in the nuts. <laughs> The whole design of it's just different. It doesn't work the same as a uh, you know, street tire. See, street tires for a bike, even if they're very aggressive, you know, like the dual purpose, like track and street tires, if it's a street tire at all, um, it's designed to dissipate heat. In other words, it's designed to like try to cool itself off as it's going down the road. And that's important. That's important, damn it. I don't need to know why, just fucking believe me. Uh, the reason why is because it would just be fucking, they would just get too fucking hot. Like, they just, they don't, they're, they're, they work in a different way. Let me see, let me try explaining this. I fucking hell, um, let me think. I don't know. Listen, here's the deal. When you run a, um, a slick, the problem with running on the street is you're heat cycling the shit out of it, and there's no good after a while. If you've ever been to like a track day, and you see the guys with slicks, and uh, you're not like fucking in Taiwan or something, where it's god dang backwards as shit, and fucking developing country, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Um, the guys with slicks will run tire warmers, 
and uh, not just to help them when they first get on the racetrack. You know, everyone thinks, oh, it's just so they can, you know, get out there that first time and not have to, you know, warm them up. They still have to warm them up for about at least a lap or two before they really get the full temperature, depending on the day. But the reason why they run tire warmers and they run them between their sessions is they only want one heat cycle for the entire day. If you can imagine, yeah, your rubber is actually that. Uh, they figure out a way to make rubber that, like maintenance-wise, where it's really only good. A lot of slicks are really only good for about maybe six or seven heat cycles. After that, they really start to become too hard. And uh, and when they're hard, they just don't fucking work at all. <laughs> so, like I said, you'll see the guys at the track, heat, tire warmers on, hit the track. As soon as they come in the track, bike back up on stands, the tire warmers back on tire never gets to cool off that way you know if they only get like six seven cycles out of a tire in the last six seven track days that that tires works really good for you know not just one day so because you know you might go on the track well you probably won't go out like six seven times mine's cooler uh you, you'll you, you'll probably go out you know maybe three maybe four sessions if you're you know, out there all day i guess but if you uh if you if you keep it warm, you've only done one heat cycle. So guys that run them on the street will sit there. They'll get them on the street. Like right now, like if I was running slicks, they would be at the temperature I guarantee running down the highway like this. And it's like a hundred degrees out right now. Again, thank you, Texas. Um, well, what would blah 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 blah? Make it make it Mac. What would happen is uh, yeah, you would have gone through like multiple heat cycles. Like it would have been. Like this would be a heat cycle right here, and the next day would be a heat cycle. And like my tires would probably like right now, and they're about to get changed. So they probably got like, you know, like several hundred heat cycles on them. There no, they would be no fucking good if they were racing slicks. That rubber just would have turned hard as fuck. I don't know. Like I kind of understand why, but I don't really know how to explain it really well why that is. But it is a different type of rubber. It's not the same. It's not the same. I think it has like more silicone and shit in it. I don't. I don't remember exactly how. I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't matter. Anyway, here's something too. If you ever see somebody on the street with, you know, slicks on, go up to it and try to stick your fingernail into the tire. Just take your fingernail and try to dig it into the tire and see what happens. God, I gotta get some water. Now, I bet what you'll see is that the, um, the tire is, uh, is very hard. What should be, if the tire is decent, I mean, you should be able to put your finger onto it, pull it back, and see the indention of your fingernail, and it should take like a, it, it, it usually like comes back out, like it doesn't leave like a permanent mark, but it, it stays in there for a second, you know, if it's a hard tire, it'll spring right back out. That's a good way, too, to see if you have an old tire, like, like this Supermoto takes a, like a 150 rear, uh, I put a Pilot Power 150 rear, and I've gotten them before and had to like check them, like, you know, right then you you stick your fingernail to it. and I've gotten one before I've had to reject it because I told the guys like this is way too old it's been sitting on the shelf forever so I just bought tires for this and they had to order it that's why I always like to hear they have to order it because I'd rather wait a week mm. water I'd rather wait a week instead of you know getting a shitty tire so um, and, and that other thing too I remember running with a friend of mine one time who was running a uh, racing slicks on his uh, CRF 450R that was converted street legal and Converted a uh, uh, converted supermoto, and we were running on some back twisty road. And I swear I had like more grip than he did. I was able to like out corner him. So that should tell you right there. I know no one's really there. It's the Harley dealer, but I still feel like I should like really pass the Harley dealer. Yeah, no one's really behind me. Out here in the big city. Yeah. I'm gonna make this video quick because here. Uh, 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 uh,